Because the Supreme Court is being asked to stop the Opposition National Democratic Congress, NDC, from commemorating December 31. This is the day in 1981 that the constitutionally elected government of Dr. Hila Liman was ousted in a coup led by Jerry John Rawlings. Ghanaian-based lawyer in the U.S., Professor Stephen Kwekwasari, says the continuous celebration of the day is an affront to the letter and spirit of the 1992 constitution since it frowns upon coups. Court correspondent Joseph Akable has the rest of the story. The Revolutionary Council, during our short stay in power, have demonstrated openly what many people had only suspected before, namely that the this was in September 1979. He had in four months led the Armed Forces Revolutionary Council carry out what was termed a house cleaning exercise. This had seen the killing of some top military officers who had participated in previous coups. Mr. Rollins will strike again 27 months later. He will form and lead the Provisional National Defense Council that will hold on to power till 1993 when the NDC was elected to usher Ghana into a new republic. The party traces its roots to the PNDC and marked June 4 and 31st December as important events in the life of the nation. The Supreme Court in 1993, however, held that December 31 could not be commemorated as a public holiday or marked using state funds. The day has, however, been consistently marked by the NDC with a commemoration event often heralded with former President Rawlings delivering a keynote address. The last of such events was held at Winneba last year. Professor Asari wants this to stop. He wants a declaration that the celebration in a public forum is inconsistent with or in contravention of the letter and spirit of the 1992 constitution. He wants the NDC to be ordered or directed to cease and desist from such celebration. Professor Asari is unhappy that the NDC and the Attorney General defendants in the case failed to respond to his writ even though he filed it on February 20. He contends the party had 14 days to file a response but has simply refused or failed to do so. His lawyers urged the court to adopt and grant the relief he's requesting. The NDC and the AG's office have since entered an appearance, asking the court to grant them more time to file a response. The court granted this request as it struck out the request by Professor Asari, asking that his relief be granted. The case has been adjourned indefinitely.